Hi guys, Piggy from a Paper Bumblebee. Today I wanted to do a, just a simple, easy, quick tutorial uh, to make, a, well, just a little notepad. This is a little uh, gift bag baggy. Uh, my daughter received on her birthday with some gifts and I thought this is really cute and I wanted to use it just to make a little notepad for myself. Well, I am really well forgetful and I've got a lot of ideas and I want to write them down otherwise I'm going to forget so what I'm going to do with this is nothing uh, nothing complex or anything I'm just going to cut these handles off quickly if I can with my really sharp scissors ah, not And I'm not going to do anything special, so like inking, or it's just a notepad for me to write stuff in. So I love this, and I think I'm going to keep this as a little uh, pocket. I'm not sure, but this is going to be a little pocket. So I think I will be just quickly stitching around it like so. And I want to keep this scallopy edge. I think that's cute. So I'm going to do that quickly. And I will be back. And I also need to get, I think, a sort of a closure. For this is really stiff. And it doesn't want to keep... It, it doesn't want to stay closed. It keeps opening up. So I'm just going to stitch quickly and think of a way for closure as well okay guys I've sewn on this side and I've sewn on this side so now I'm going to make a closure here and I think I'm just going to put this on here with this uh, ribbon so I'm just going to glue these two together nice and sturdy so then just gonna see where I want this I think a bit like so I'm not gonna do it over the skull before it gonna press this down so I'm gonna do it in between I think this will be a nice place, placing, I'm just going to mark the spot, and this is not dry, get that dry quickly, and you can paint this or color this or whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it white for this white in the in the package. So now I'm just going to make a hole and just through the top layer. Uh, let me see. Hopefully this will work. No. I'm just going to use my bigger punch. So we've got the hole, we've got our two um, hole forces stick to go, uh, glued together. Got a hole enforcer and our ribbon. So what we do first is put our ribbon through the hole. A bit of 
Italy. Yeah. Then we've got our whole enforcer and our gonna put that in there. And then we are going to use our crocodile. Press it down. Here we go. We got it. Yeah. Okay. So now we've got our closure. So we can put our ribbon. So we got our closure. So now what I see is this is tearing really easily. I'm just going to reinforce that on the inside. Okay, so I reinforced it a bit on the inside with some tape. And well, if it tears a bit, that's fine. It's just character to my little notebook. So now I am going to see to get some pages for the inside and you can use anything coffee dyed or just plain white copy paper. I have some papers left from my rainbow junk journal I made, green and yellows and pinks. So I think I'm going to use some of that.
just going to cut these down quickly. Okay, so I tore off all the edges and now it fits in there perfectly. So now I'm going to do, to stitch this in here. And I think I will just do a three pamphlet stitch or maybe the five. We'll see. So I'm just going to poke some holes. And I'm just going to wing it. This is just for me, for scribbling and stuff like that. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Put that in there. In the middle. Okay, let's do a three stitch. One in here and one in there. Just going to get some thread quickly. So I've got a needle. I'm going to use some pink threads. And not going to measure anything. I'm going to leave it on there. I'm just going to stitch in my signature. thread on both sides, check if they are nice and sturdy, and make a knot, there we go, and maybe a little bow, and we've got our signature. Notebook. Yeah, I love it. And it will get some more sturdy when I use it. And I'm just thinking of putting something on my cover here. Okay, so I thought I would put something on here that says notes. So I've got a Quite thicky, thickish cardstock, and I'm just going to use these stamps. I got these from AliExpress, and they like typewriter. Uh, looks like typewriter alt from from way back. I love these, and I thought of just making a nameplate with notes. So the N, the O, T, and the E. And then the S, notes. Okay, um, what can we use? What color? Should we do yellow? No, it's going to be on this, so it's not going to work. Maybe just black. Let's see if I've got some black in the small. Yeah, 
Okay. Black suit. So let's do a test first. I think the S is the wrong way around, but that's fine. I'm just going to leave it. I think that's cute. So let me just cut this out. Whoops. Round the corners. I want to make this into a paper clip so that I can, can do it like this to keep my place where I'm writing or like this on the top. I think I will do the top. It's going to take some book pages and Make the hidden paper clip quickly. This will go on here. We've got our little paper clip to keep our place. I'm just going to clip it on the first page. There we go. Okay, we've got orange, yellowy orange. Never mind. So, I'm going to close our little notebook. Then 
we've got this on here and I do not like it so I'm going to cut this around oh, it was too big and I don't know just not what I wanted So, think again, kind of like that. Don't want points, I want it to round. Yeah, that's better. And I want to put some cheesecloth underneath there as well. I just cut some. color. I just need to make it a bit smaller. Yeah. Just simple, easy, everybody can do this. Bring in my little notes book plate. I just put that on there. Hey guys, there you go. Just a simple little notebook with a little nameplate on there. Just got the ribbon around it. Got a little pocket here so I can put some, some stuff in there. A load of just papers to make notes. Got a little paper clip so you can put that wherever you want to right or where you're at and then in the back here I've got a little pocket as well and I've got a lot of notes lying around around in the house little papers everywhere so I'm just going to this is one put them in here or put them in here to remember to write all those notes on here for I don't want to lose my notes. Got them all over the house and now I can put them all in one place. There we go. And that's my little notebook. I hope you enjoyed it. A notebook from a little paper bag. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I hope to see you next time. And remember keep on crafting. Bye-bye.